we're just trying to expand on a shorish. And the way we do that is by taking points of grammar and taking uh, prepositions and and adding them as prefixes and taking possessives such as mine, yours, ours, and adding them as suffixes. I tried to clean up the prep, prep the uh, presentation a little bit. I thought it was confusing to us. Um, I've simply taken a word out of the Hebrew verse and brought it down into our lesson area. And I've identified for you the root. The root of the first word is Resh Gimel Lamed. And we can pronounce it with kamatzes, ragal. And it means a custom to get used to. So we've been Hebrew detectives for a while now so that we can understand here's a resh, here's a gimel. We've, had, we've been invaded by a yud, and then here's our lamed. But still we can see essentially our shoresh is in the middle of the word. Are you with me, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, to be continued. Welcome, Gideon. It's great to have you. Gideon, may I, may I ask, did you join us through the Gmail, through your email link? Okay, I, I need to let you know that your audio is working, but it's nothing but noise. I'm not actually getting your voice at this point. I'm not sure if there's a solution to that or not. Do you have any idea what, what you can do to actually? So um, it, it may be something that you have to work on, or I'm not sure what technically is going on in your end whether you can be closer to the phone or where, whether you're in an area where there's a lot of background noise, but hopefully we can, we can solve the issue so that I can hear your voice because it'll be my pleasure to give you chances to recite and learn your letters. Do you have that I, I'm getting some good audio from you, but not not the human voice, for some reason. So, <laughs> so anyway, we'll we'll continue to work on that. Um, I'm going to give you a little lecture, though, Gideon, as an introduction. Even though you won't be able to respond right now, I'm sure you're going to find a solution to the audio problem. Don't don't despair. We've gone through this with many learners, and eventually. We figure it out and we get good connections. So just let me present to you for five minutes, at least to give you an introduction, okay? The Hebrew, yes. ah, thank God. You're loud and clear. Where, where, are, you yes, calling, where are you calling in from? What town are you, brother? I'm getting very clear. Yeah, you are. You're perfectly clear now. Are you from Kutus or Buteri? Where are you calling from? Uh, I am from Kutus. Very nice. Are you are you a student at the Kiranyaga University? Uh, yes. Very nice. Welcome. Very welcome. Glad to have you. Thank you. Um, in order to learn Hebrew, we need to know the letters, which we call the consonants, A, B, C, D, B, C, D. These are the consonants, and they have equivalents in Hebrew, of course. But we also, we also need to learn a separate set of vowels. Uh, so in, in, in English, in The vowels are, are part of the set of letters, but in Hebrew, we have a separate set of consonants and a separate set of vowels. 
let me let me let me demonstrate to you what I'm talking about. Uh, Gideon, can you see the 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 list of the chart of of letters on your on your phone? Yes, I can see you on the screen. Very good. These are the consonants. Now, in order to pronounce the and these consonants all have letters. They have names. They have names. This the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph, and the second Hebrew letter is Bet, and the third Hebrew letter is Vet. So. On the one hand, we need to know the names of the letters, but we also need to know how to pronounce these letters in proper Hebrew. And in order to do that, we need vowels. So we have a separate set of vowels in the Hebrew language. And, and these are your vowels. Are you seeing these on the screen, brother? Are you, are you seeing the vowels on the screen now, Gideon? Yes, I am seeing now. Good. Yes, I am seeing the vowel. Good. Very good. Vowel. Correct. You got it. So you need both, you need the, the vowels. For example, the first vowel is called kamats. Can you repeat after me? Kamats. Kamats. Beautiful. Nice natural pronunciation. Very good start. And just like the name kamats, we hear ah. And that's the vowel sound of the kamats, ah. Sawa? Yes. Okay. Forgive me, I, I know that um, the Kiswahili is not necessarily anybody's first language in Kutus. But uh, I'm, I get into the habit of using Kiswahili sometimes. Sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it just makes people laugh. But bear with me, I like to use my Kiswahili now and then. Yes. So anyway, let's take the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet, which is Aleph. Can you repeat after me, brother, Aleph? Aleph. Well done. So on the one hand, we're going to have exercises where I'm simply going to ask you to name the letter, in which case you'll say Aleph. But then there will also be exercises we, where we need to pronounce Hebrew, OK? Yes. So in order to pronounce the Aleph, which happens to be silent, it has no sound of its own. It's unique amongst the Hebrew letters. We need a vowel. So let's combine the aleph with a with a with a vowel with the kamats. Aleph plus kamats gives us the pronounced Hebrew ah. Recite after me ah. Ah. Well done. Let's take let's take another letter. This is the letter bet. Can you recite after me bet? Well done. In order to pronounce the bet in proper Hebrew pronunciation, we need a vowel. So let's combine the bet plus the kamats, and the pronunciation is ba. After me, ba. Ba. Well done. Let's look at one more letter. This is the third Hebrew letter. It's called vet. Can you pronounce after me vet? Vet. Well done. V-E-T, vet. In order to pronounce the vet, we need a vowel. So let's add the kamats to the vet. So vet plus kamats gives us va. After me, va. Va. Good. So we have aleph plus kamats gives us a. Uh. Good. 
the bet makes the B sound. The bet plus the commas gives us ba. Ba. Oh, very good. Very nice. Very nice, Gideon. Good work. And lastly, the vet plus the commas. The vet plus the commas. The vet gives us the V sound. The vet plus the commas gives us. Ba. Well done. Well done. Very well done. I think you're getting it. You do. You, yes, do you have this idea? We need the consonant and we need the the vowel. Correct. Yes. Excellent. Let me introduce one more vowel, which makes the same ah sound. It, instead of the little t, the kamats, we have a vowel called patach. Can you recite after me the name of this vowel, patach? Patach. Wow, you've got a nice a nice chet going there. That's a big advantage. Congratulations on your pronunciation. That's an excellent start. So the patach, just like the kamats, makes the ah sound. So the vet plus the patach gives us va. After me, va. Va. Very nice. Likewise, the letter bet, which makes the b sound plus plus the patach, bet plus the patach makes the sound ba 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 ba. Right. And the aleph plus the the aleph plus the patach likewise makes the sound ah uh, together ah. Uh. Uh. So Gideon, will you permit me to give you some exercises right now that can strengthen your understanding? Yes. Okay, thank you. Let's take a look at this worksheet. Let's simply recite the names of the letters first, and I'll tell you what I mean. If you can see line three, we're simply going to name the letters. We're not pronouncing Hebrew now. We're naming the letters of the Hebrew alphabet, namely Aleph, 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 Bet, Bet, Bet. Would you kindly recite the names of the letters on line four for us, Gideon? Aleph. Good. Aleph. Good. Bet. Well done. Bet. Well done. Aleph. Well done. Aleph. Well done. Bet. 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 Good. And lastly? Bet. Well done. Let's recall that this is called kamats. So we're also going to name the first couple of vowels that you've you've learned well. I'll do line seven for you. Kamats. Kamats. Aleph. Bet. Aleph. Bet. Kamats. Kamats. Try to bring your uh, your your voice closer to the mic and have a little more presence, kindly with your your voice and and kindly lead us in line eight, Gideon, if you would. Line eight, Kamats. Kamats. Well done. Continue. Kamats. Well done. Aleph. Nice. Fet. Now, it's it's bet is in boy. Baseball, banana, bet. And fit. Not vet, not the V sound, but the B sound, bet. Bet. Good job. Continue kindly. Kamats. Good. Kamats. Well done. Bet. Well done. I love it. Excellent. Excellent start. You're off to a great start, brother. Congratulations. It's very, very exciting. 
Let us bring in the third letter that we've studied. Um, but first, let's recall the name of the, the line. This vowel is called patach. So line, so line, line two would be aleph, bet, kamatz, patach, 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 aleph, bet, kamatz, patach. Very nice. Go ahead and uh, give us over line five, starting with patach. Patach. Nice. Continue. Bet. Good. Ba. Yes, ba. Well done. Continue. Patach. Good. Bet. Well done. Ba. Excellent. Nice work. Let's um, move on to line eight kindly. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Next. Ba. Uh, ba. Well done. Ah. Uh. Well done. Ba. Well done. Ba. Nice. Ah. Uh. Nice. Ba. Ba. And lastly. Ah. Uh. Very good. Very good. Let's get some vets involved to give you a little extra challenge. Oh, let's take a look at line six, Gideon. You'll notice that sometimes we have the aleph at the end. You don't have to worry about pronouncing anything. It's silent, OK? Yes. So the first instance is ba, and the second instance is ba. Continue with the third instance. Uh, ba. Well done. 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 Ba. Excellent. Let me just check and see if we have any other learners that have joined. Is it just the three of us still? OK. Very good. Let's continue, Gideon. You're on a roll, brother. This is really exciting. Yes. We're going to bring in the vet your third letter. And that, that will be your lesson for today, those three letters. So now we're going to go, oh, good, okay. Emmanuel Bet, welcome to class, brother. How's your audio connection tonight? When you have a when you have a chance, feel free to unmute and greet us. We're working with a new learner, Gideon, from Kutus, who's doing awesome work. So I'm going to ask you uh, to be our next our next reader, Emmanuel. So be prepared, brother. But Gideon, let us continue in for a little while together, if I may. We're we're going back to just naming the letters. In other words, just the names of the letters kindly in line one, starting with Aleph. Aleph. Good. Next. Bet. Nice. Bet. Right. What's the difference between the bet and the vet? Visually, how do you differentiate between those two letters, Gideon? Uh, the first one is bet, and the second one is vet. Very good. And what's the difference to the eye? How do you see them as different? Uh, uh, the difference is there is a dot in the first letter. Right. Very good. So we have Aleph, Bet, Vet. Continue on. Vet. 
Nice. Fat. And do you recall these vowels? Kamats. Kamats. Patak. Well done. Let's try line two. You'll have a combination of naming letters and also reciting proper Hebrew. Yeah. Good, very good. Fat. Nice. Fa. Well done. Kamat. Uh, well done. Fat. Well done. Fa. Well done. Off to a great, great start. We'll give you one more line and then we'll uh, invite you to um, enjoy the rest of the class as we work through more advanced material. Kindly get in line nine for us. Ah. Uh, nice. Continue. Ah. Uh, well done. Ah. Uh, well done. Ah. Uh, well done. Fa. Uh, nice. Fa. Uh, nice. Ah. Uh, nice. Fa. Uh, well done. Fa. Uh, well done. Let me invite you, I don't know if you're aware, we have a YouTube channel. Um, you're catching on very, very quickly. If you'd like to advance more quickly with the letters, there's a community section on the YouTube channel where I've laid out worksheets for each of the letters and you can become familiar with the letters as quickly as you're comfortable or simply continue joining us in class and I'm sure you're gonna progress very quickly. Congratulations on an excellent start. Um, one moment, please. So I'll, I'll, I'll ask you to mute your audio now, Gideon, and I'm going to invite, I'm going to invite Emmanuel Bett to unmute his audio. So Gideon, if you could mute your audio now, and I'll ask Emmanuel Bett if he can unmute. Uh, yes. Are, Emmanuel, are, are you? Yeah, Gideon, do you know how to, you know how to, you know how to mute, mute your audio? audio. To mute. Right. 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 Uh, I think I have mute. There's some, there's a little, there's some, there's a little, Gideon, can you Gideon, explain to Gideon, Gideon how to mute the audio? The audio? Yes. First of all, are you using a phone or a laptop? Uh, a phone. There's that button uh, which, is, which shows like a uh, uh, microphone there. Oh, okay, I've seen just, it. Just the, okay, if you have seen it, if you, click, if you click it, it will just mute it, sir. So. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's so. Yeah. Have you seen it? As long as there's not any distortion on Gideon's end, it's okay. Yeah. Um, Emmanuel, are you able to unmute so that I can work with you for a while? Otherwise, we'll jump to... Um, to um, Joseph and, and Gideon on something a little more advanced, but actually, Emmanuel, stay sharp with us if you're with us. Joseph and Gideon, I invite you to, um, to stay unmuted at this point. We're gonna do something that might feel a little basic, but I think it'll reinforce something for us, which is the, the, the use of the, the shva, not to pronounce, but as a closer to a, to a, 
to a closed syllable, that we we understand that the shva or the first instance of a shva in the middle of a word serves as a closer. So, for example, this last word in line one is mish. So let's let's just let the exercise take us along. It doesn't always break out perfectly into our understanding of open to close syllables, but it, it gives us a good a good guide. So um, let me just make sure that um, yeah, all right. Joseph, why don't you take the lead here? I'm looking at uh, line number one in in the worksheet. Me, me, and so on. Good. Mish. Good. Mish. Good. Keno. Exactly. Mish. Good. Keno micha. That's a tav, kino techa. Kino techa. Well done. Mish kino techa. Mish, mish kino techa. Well done both, well done both. And you'll note something very interesting. We have two shvas inside the word. The first one closes for us. And the second one is vocalized. And that's the only time when you'd have a vocalized schwa other than at the beginning, when you have two schwas in the middle, one after the other. And both of you got it spot on. Yes. Yes. Our, is a man, has Emmanuel been unmuted so that he can, or did Emmanuel have, is Emmanuel still with us but muted? Okay, no problem, no problem, let's continue. Uh, Gideon, would you kindly lead us in line two? Yep. Ka. Good. Kade. The second one would just be a closed syllable, kad. Oh, kad, yeah. Kade. So this is a little bit confusing. But I, yes, I think yeah, it is not right. Yeah. right. Yeah. You're with me. Shekha. Yes, you're getting a good feel for this now, Gideon. Continue. Kadi, Kad. Kad, right. Yep. Shekha. Nice. And lastly? Kad Shekh. Kad Shekh. Kad Shekha. Kad Shekha. Kad Shekha. Well done. That means your your holiness, your holiness. holiness. Mm -hmm. Again, the ha at the end we're learning means your. Mm -hmm. We're learning that the 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 possessive, the possessives, mine, his, yours, ours, tend to be letters at the end of words. So ha is your. Yesterday we learned that nu is ours and so forth. Joseph, line three, kindly. Na. Good. Naf. Nice. Naf. Well done. Mecha. That's a shin. Oh, sorry. Shiha. Well done. Naf. Good. Shiha. Well done. Naf shiha. Well done. That means your soul. Line four, Gideon. Yes. Uh, line four, kindly. If you could be so kind to zoom the, the screen. Oh, okay, no problem. Bit, yeah. yeah. There you go, line four. She. Good. Shiv, shiv, shiv. Right. Shive, shiv. Right. Techa. Techa, well done. Shiv, well done. Techa. 
Nice. And lastly, Shikha. Well done. That means you're you're resting. When you're resting, you're resting time. Shivdha. Or you're sitting, your sitting time. Shivdha. Yep. Joseph, line five, kindly. Le. Lek. Actually, it's a ch, a chaf, lech. Lech. Nice. Lech. Nice. Techa. Very nice. Belech. Well done. Techa. Nice. And finally. Bele. Bele. There you go. Very nice. Together both. That means in you're going, you're going out, and you're going out. So means in you're sitting down, and means in you're going out. Let's let's do one more line, Gideon, and then we'll we'll go over to the morning prayers worksheet. Sha. Good. Shach. Just shach. Shach. There you go. Shach. Nice. Becha. Well done. Be shach. Beautiful. Becha. Very nice. Beshak Tech Beshak Bech Beshak Becha. Well done. Together both. Beshak Becha. Beshak Becha. That means in your lying down. Excellent work. Excellent work. I think we're going to have some phenomenal pronunciation of our, of our prayers. Let's just enjoy each taking a verse as, as Joseph suggested it in his um, recommendations and what's up earlier today. Joseph, why don't you take the first Hebrew verse and then Gideon can take the second. The first line? Yeah. You are not showing. Oh, I'm not sharing. It's not showing. Oh, okay. <laughs> and yes. I can is I can make this a little bit bigger also. Mm -hmm. Vihi. No, not that one. Let's skip down to the full, the full five words or four, or four words where my my blue my blue circle is. Shetar gil gileno Beautiful, beautiful. Shetar gileno. Shetar shetar gileno. Vet vetora. Vetora Teha. Beautiful. Vetora Teha. Veda. Veda. Yes. Veda. Kei Kino. Beautiful. Veda Kino. Veda Kino. Ve. Me. The mitzo. This is a tricky Checha. one. We, the mitzo. We don't. Oh yes. We, the, the, yes. The mitzvotecha. Well done. Together, both the mitzvotecha. The mitzvotecha. Shetargi lenu, and may you accustom us the Torah techa in your Torah. The dab kenu, and may you attach us, the mitzvotecha, to your commandments. Gideon, would you kindly try the next line? Yep. Well. Good. Teva eno enu. Let's try. Te. Then it's another open syllable, a chirik male, a full chirik, which is a dot and a yud, makes the e sound. 
and it's also an open syllable to the Enu, enu, enu. Right. Tiv, enu. No, you have to pronounce V. Tiv, V, enu. Tiv, enu. Tiv, enu. Tiv, enu. There you go. Very good. Lo. Good. Lide. 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 Nice. Lide. Very well pronounced. Head, 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 So that means, and the all, and do not, to the anu, lead us, lowly day, not to the hand of hate, of sin. So basically, this is the all to the anu, lowly day, hate, don't lead us into sin. That's basically what this line is saying, don't lead us into sin. Okay. So hate means sin. Yeah, hate means sin. Very nice. Very nice work. Let's let's continue for some days with this this worksheet because there's a lot we can do. I've got the vocabulary down here. If you'd like me to share it with you after class, I'll be glad to. But well, well done. Um, beautiful reading. It's very exciting. Let me thank let me you. thank everybody in the group. Emmanuel, thank you for your loyalty and joining us. I I. Let me know what the issue was. I'm, I'm sorry that you can't recite for us tonight because I know you're very well prepared to do some. He some has written it in the messages. I think I think I said that he is.